I heard something. Seems we have a tail. They're in front of us, so kind of, not really. A front tail, also known as a penis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was laughing at his explosion, not your dumb penis joke. <laughs> it was kind of funny, come on! <laughs> oh, jeez, that's a lot, that's a high fire this rate! It's only gonna end one way. Yeah, they're too dumb to figure out how to set up a turret. Oh, he was, he's, he's mutating. He's still shooting from the ground. Ow, 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 he's ow, doing ow. a last stand, Call of Duty style. It is a shame these super mutants force us to dispatch them. A resilient 1911. Ooh. Additional damage resistance while reloading. Yeah. Oh boy. I am a super mutant. I am unstoppable. Deacon, you want to kill? <gasps> Look at the buttercup. Ah! They want that! They want the buttercup! Ow! My buttercup! I'm gonna take my buttercup! Nobody let a bit, better lay a finger on my buttercup! Someone touch my buttercup! Angry! Hey, no offense, but you ain't caravan folk. Beat it. Yeah! Easy, Easy tiger. Not, not everything needs to be Maybe shot yes, up. What are you shooting at? I call dibs on any hats. And now everyone at Bunker Hill is mad at us. I just walked into town and started shooting people every night. She told me to beat it, so I dumped a 5.56 round into her belly. That's not how you react. Oh, uh, it's Deacon shooting his oh, gun. Yeah. Oh, now you're shooting your gun. Thank you, Deacon. Keep your oh, no, he's mad at me. He's mad at me. <laughs> you specifically have that gun for friendly fire, I oh, see, Oh, my Deacon. God. Oh, my God. Make a move, and I'll end you, Wastelander. Let me it know if might be safe. Why is everyone being so Just rude maybe. to me? I'm sorry. I hang on. I see boobs. I gotta go over here. Hey, how are you doing? I'm looking for work. You hiring? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> what, are you, what do you think about coming to work for us? Yeah. Okay. Great. I'll be there first thing. We got some clothes back at base. First thing, what? All right. You are dirty. <laughs> You are, you are, hang on, I'm sorry. You are very dirty. Holy crap, Tin Cantania. Good lord. The base We're, is near a river. Go wash yourself yeah, up. Yeah, jump in the river and then go to the base. <laughs> Take a bath. <laughs> Pass the tricycle. Don't be shy. You don't know what a fast. We won't have much booze left. You own this place? Technically, everything is owned by all the caravan companies that come through here. We pull the money together and split it up. But, as far as serving drinks goes, this bar is all mine. Great. What caravans come through here? Pretty much all of them. All the ones I know about, anyway. Name one. Takes a certain kind of person to brave the Commonwealth trade routes. Don't know what started first, the Bunker Hill Settlement or the caravans. But they're practically one and the same nowadays. Either way, folks need drinks, so I opened up this bar here. Lots of alcohol on tap for you. Stop pushing liquor on me. I don't drink. Yeah, we're looking for work. Well, there is one thing. Dad, you're not gonna send him on that same wild goose chase. Hey, he brought it up, not me. As I was saying, uh, before us of Aldi started slinging rot gut for thirsty caravan hands, we came from a line of Minutemen. My grandpa, Brent Savaldi, was the last. He died fighting raiders just outside Malden. If you could find any of his personal effects, well, he didn't mean the world to me. Uh, you got any idea where he may have fallen? Somewhere northeast of Malden. That's where they found the bodies of the rest of his squad. All right, I'll find him. Just be careful, all right? I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. And you don't have to worry about the Minutemen failing because we're in charge now and we're going to whip them into shape. No, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. <laughs> Stop telling people I'm in charge of the Minutemen. Are you trying to put a target on my back? <laughs> Just look for the remains, like maybe a skull. Like he also may have been buried in this sinkhole and we'll never find him. That's also very possible. Oh, this is his oil can. We found his oil oh, we, can. I found his pork and beans. Yup, there we go. I have found his grandpa's pork and beans. Oh, shit, I've eaten his grandpa's pork and beans. Cans and all, wow. Oh, we gotta go down there? Thanks for the, thanks for the advice, Deacon. Woo! <laughs> Well, that was a bad idea. You definitely should not have done that. There is no noise at all. I hear the sound of rushing water myself, but maybe you're deaf. Oh, hey, is that him? Oh, yep. Found his hat. Under the waterfall, drinking in the sinkhole. Ah, the old sinkhole. Which, uh... What are we shooting at? 
shooting at there. What? <laughs> oh, is that what you're shooting at? Then? We were shooting at that hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa's hat was it called? <laughs> now we get now we get to go back and I go, yeah, I couldn't find anything. I'm sorry. It's a new hat you got there. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm, oh, this old thing? Oh, I've had it. I kicked him in the, the wrong move, move pal. Whoa! <laughs> of course, of course. That's what I get for putting on a dead man's hat. <laughs> He legitimately will not fire his gun unless you're standing in between him yes. and the enemy. He just refuses to do it. Hello. Yes? Grandpa Savoldi. Damn. People on the hill don't think kindly about the Minutemen. Say they didn't help when we needed them. My grandpa was a hero. And I won't hear anything different. He died fighting for the Commonwealth. He's a hero in anyone's book. Wish more people looked at it that way. You know? I heard about you. Building the Minutemen back up? No, no, uh, uh, nope, 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 But nope, you keep that hat. Nope, nope My grandfather nope, would have wanted it to be no. put to use. Instead of hanging on the wall of some shitty bar. If you want it, you can have it. It's kind of smelly, honestly. So you want that tour or not? Ten caps. All right, fine. Well, we found the hat for him. It has no value to anyone outside of you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't show that on YouTube. <laughs> that kid is smoking. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't, you can't. Don't worry, it's a candy cigarette <laughs> that glows and smokes. Oh my god. Well, I was kind of hoping this episode would be longer, but I guess that's all you get today. Happy, <laughs> happy episode 100, everybody. Is this episode 100? Probably. Oh my god. It's not a child smoking, it's a synth. Damn, Molly's looking good. And not just because her vitiligo cleared up. You know, I was gonna tell you to put clothes on, but then you won't be that dirty, so just- The more you keep things in line, the more work we get done. You just- you just stay exactly like that. You are perfect the way you are, Tin Can Tonya. Don't ever change. Don't ever let anyone tell you any different. Especially if they tell you to take a bath. Wow, your character has high charisma. You probably don't even need to roll. Uh, <laughs> yep, that's coming out soon. I'm- ooh, god, ooh. that looks painful. <laughs> that looks excruciating. Well, he's already dead, so it doesn't matter. Excruciating. <laughs> Maybe we should relocate before one of them crashes. Yeah. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, we saw this ship. This this beach ship a long time ago. Remember oh, we... yeah, that's right. We were going to come back here to the crashed boat. It never followed up on that. No. Sometimes I'm not very... Are those raiders? Greetings. Hi. Hello. Yes. Hello. This is our claim. Clear out, Sivvy. You got a mouth on slap. We don't need any more hired guns. Are you drunk as hell? Payday better be coming soon. Who would pay you? It would be better for all of us if you just leave. It would be better for you if you stood there while I charge up a electromagnetic house cannon. Wait, no! God no! damn it. There we go. All right. Now it's our claim. What are we claiming here? Uh, this broken toilet. I gotta get my violent tendencies out at the beginning of the day. Don't talk to me until I've had my three murders. <laughs> what are you looking at? Uh, the stupid war paint you have on. It's dumb. It's just to get rid of the reflection on his cheeks so it's... we can snipe better. I don't know if that actually works. I feel like that isn't actually true. I need to see, I want to see some statistical proof yeah. that putting black paint on your on your cheeks actually reduces the glare on your face. I, yeah, it might just be a thing people have done because people say it's a thing you should do. Yeah, exactly. Like how when I was in the military, people were like, yeah, if you eat the match heads, uh, then you sweat out sulfur and it repels mosquitoes. It's uh, probably not true. Yeah, it definitely isn't true. You just end up eating a bunch of match heads. Um, hello? Scanning. Scan ink. Accessing pre-war records. Why are you saying scan ink? Error. Ahoy there. Tis Providence a member of the Congressional Army is delivered to us in our hour of need. How'd you know I was in the army? The captain requests your presence on the bridge. At the double quick, sir. A captain of... Oh, the ship has a captain. The it... ship has a captain but... and it has rocket engines. It... What the... It's landlocked. 
You're not gonna be able to sail this thing. Why does it have Aerodyne rocket engines that apparently are phased through a piece of... We're gonna ignore that one. <laughs> Why does it have rocket engines? That's the best way to propel a boat, apparently, in the future. How do we get on board? Yeah, let's follow the robot, right? It just floats up there because he's got those hover jets. But before we go in there, let's ransack the place, see if we can find any cool loot, some uh, magazines, bobbleheads. I found an uh, empty bottle of bourbon and a plunger. I can only imagine what you'll craft with that. I stuck the bottle on the plunger, and I have created a plunger. <laughs> this is something before the troubles, yes? Troubles? The troubles were in Ireland, Curie. Um, oh, is this how we get into the ship? No. It's also filled with rocks. Was this customary on, on wooden ships was to fill them with rocks? So they would not rock over. It's like ballast? Is that an actual thing? You're, you're asking me? I'm not the one who's- I don't know! I didn't study to be a tugboat captain! You tell me! I- well, There really isn't any studying to be a tug- And also, I would have been an engineer on the tugboat, not a captain. I believe in you, Zach. You would have risen up the ranks. I probably would have become a captain! <laughs> Eventually. Well, that's... I fell off. All right, all right. We gotta try and find a way in there. L plus fell off plus find God plus... <laughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. No! I'm not finished taking a shower yet. Okay, so... We gotta get up there. These buildings... Why does it have rocket... And also, the inside of that rocket engine is incorrect. It wouldn't just... The inside of a uh, of that specific style of rocket engine doesn't just terminate in a cone. There's actually a <laughs> point where you can see all of the vi whatever. I'm not gonna. I'm not going into a whole thing about how the rocket engine's wrong. I'm not. I'm not actually. I'm not that intelligent. I just have a passing knowledge. I have approximate knowledge of all things. You have mentioned this. Oh, there's a trap door. I wouldn't have noticed that. I feel silly for not noticing this earlier. Oh, that's an odor. What? Oh, that's that was that was Deacon. He's saying that. you stink. I mean, maybe I do. Let's poke around a bit. Let's see what we find. I, when was the last time I actually took a shower? You know. <laughs> Any good loot here? This is the captain speaking. We're taking on an Allied soldier. Clear the berth. Disable defenses. Make way. Okay. Gangway, gangway. That's what you say on the ship, right? Come on. Is it? All is well. You were in the you were in the Marines, you would know while you were in the reserves. I was never on the ships. Although I will say when I was in the uh, Boy Scouts, I did get to ride in a submarine and uh, I didn't bring this up last time, but uh, that submarine that you and I visited, a lot more spacious than an actual submarine. Yes. Did you get to ride in the submarine or was it just like you got to go on a submarine? We had a sleepover inside the submarine. Ooh, what kind of submarine? Was it like a, a, a World War II submarine or like a modern submarine? I'm going to say World War II because it was pretty dang cramped and small. I feel like all submarines are pretty cramped and small. Fair enough. But this one was decommissioned, so probably... Ah, uh, so it probably was like an old World War II submarine. That right, would make yeah, sense. I think so. Actually got cannons sticking out the side of the gangplanks. I like how the textures are missing from that. That's nice. It's just in the shadows, you can't see it. The cannons are sticking out both sides, starboard and port board. Do you know how I tell the difference between port and starboard? Tell me how you figure it out. I'm gonna close that because that was sparking. <laughs> port has four letters and left has four letters. Correct. That's how I tell the difference. Yes. It's a very lovely interior of a slanted sideways ship. I would have trouble sleeping at an angle like this. Yeah, though. me too. All right. Somebody had security issues. No, Deacon, they let us on board. Wait, why are these cannons all hooked up to electricity? Is it so that you can just fire the cannons at whatever you want? Uh, you still have to reload them though. Yeah. By the way, just, you know, when, uh, random, random fun fact. Uh, do you know what the first use of the word truck is? Do tell. It's the thing describing the wheels on cannons. That's the first use of the word truck. I did not know that. Yeah. I, okay. Uh, I am now unburdened from the yoke of tourist services. Let the enemies of America beware. A virus may have taken hold of this ship's computer. Okay. 
What do you need, matey? <laughs> As per captain's orders, the ship is to be overhauled for war. All ye tourists fear the awesome might of the USS Constitution. Okay. Okay. So this ship is pretty outdated. It is old, made out of wood, very little tech. Well, I think this, I think the Constitution is the first ship. Patrolling. That was part of the US Navy. Well, then it's very old. So this is just a tourist trap, not an actual ship. Yeah. The USS Constitution, known as Old Ironsides, is a three-masted, wooden-hold, heavy frigate of the United States Navy. She was launched in 1797, one of six original frigates authorized for construction by the Naval Act of 1794, and the third constructed. This sounds like more than approximate knowledge. Oh, the roof is right here. Careful not to fall off the ship. Uh... Current speed, zero knots. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. We are with the Minutemen, if that's what you're saying. It's quite a ship you got. Indeed. I am Captain Ironsides, commander of the USS Constitution. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. Oh, no. It calmed these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings and Loan. I spit at you. <laughs> What? Yes, damn you, Weatherby Savings and... Oh, that must be the bank that he's just stuck on top of. How did you even get up here? That is curious. Are not boats supposed to be in the water? A harrowing tale of that, there can be no doubt. Or I should say, I assume it is. I came upon her as she is. Atop the Sargasso Sea of rubble and misfortune. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have naught but more rats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. <laughs> the Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. Then why don't you make the repairs? Uh, what war effort? Against Communist China, of course. But if any Redcoats uh. or Canadians sail nearby, I will give them a good thrashing, to be sure. To avenge the burning of our nation's capital would be a sweet victory indeed. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Fire at will. And Blast them with everything. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Something for free attack. Jeez. Oh, my God. Okay, maybe I should have flipped that this circuit. Breaker. Random flipping switches. See what happens. Fire, fire. Hang on. I also got cannons. I believe the term is... What? Yes, indeed, Curie. They are. Keep firing, soldier. Oh, oh. Our opponents have okay. struck their colors. Leave this ship and never return. I have no idea what's going on right now. I'm not sure. He said leave Isn't this ship and never cool. return. I hope he's not referring to me specifically. And the turrets. Show them what we're made of. Uh, what if I fire the cannons again? Can I do that? You gotta reload those fire cannons. With heavy circuit boards. Sure. Carbon bombing the Commonwealth. You know what? I'm okay with that. I like carbon I bombing have things. Detected on Got one. Really not Do sure. Do not think that diminishes my resolve. Got another Someone one. Is Why is this tourist ship so outfitted with firepower? Why do the raiders want it? Deadly force is the This threat is over. Citizens Would that I could say the same to for Red China. The area. <laughs> Red China, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Why? Well, okay, so raiders attacked for some reason. Yep. Maybe they were just following us. Maybe. Maybe they're just bored. You know, honestly, if I was a raider, I'd get bored. I'd want to shoot at a boat. If the scavengers keep seeking folly and destruction, I will reluctantly oblige them. Oh, it's scavengers. He's trying to defend his boat. The scavengers are trying to get up here to steal everything that's on the boat. There's not much to scavenge. We could go down and report that. Hey, you guys might want to leave. There's a lot of really heavily armed robots up there. And if you're looking for loot, they ain't got much. You want the wrench? Bullshit, I heard there's a bobblehead up there somewhere. Uh, Your very presence does this humble unit. Sorry. Your very presence does this humble unit a great honor. My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain. You're missing a lot of... You don't have any limbs. Do you often interject? Indeed I do. I exclaim from exuberance. And not because I've been reprogrammed five times to wholeheartedly embrace these marvelous turns of phrase and, and acronisms. My metal heart burns with a fierce love and affection for our captain. Huzzah! 
Was the captain involved with reprogramming you? I will confide this only as a cautionary tale. The captain requires all crew to speak in the proper idiom. We are the inheritors of a sacred tradition. There was a time I thought he was, well, balmy. But with my new programming, balmy? I see his incalculable wisdom. Our last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including replacement power cables, sir. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. How were you reprogrammed? He doesn't have opposable thumbs to type, and you don't have an interface. Yeah, I don't know, maybe he just does it with Bluetooth. I'll see what I can do about your cables. I'll feel my anxiety emulators lightning by the microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying gratitude. Anxiety That's emulators? Did I hear that correctly? Uh... Flip the lid, attach cables, Alright, that's one. Identified. Intruder. Why did I get intruder? Mr. First Mate, this is the captain. This soldier is no intruder. Requesting permission to use lethal force. Deny it! Deny it! Uh, easy there, buddy. It is against your core programming to use lethal force against an invited guest. It is illegal. Unable to comply. Stand down. That's an order. I, Captain, standing down. Permission to destroy. Intruder denied. <laughs> I like you. You're fun. We almost had a mutineer. Yeah. All right. Patrolling. Makes you wish for scenario not found. We fixed all the cables. That was like really easy. Again, they don't have opposable thumbs. They need our assistance. Especially this guy, he doesn't have nothing. Now, courses through the Constitution's veins, again! Her systems, long starved, flick out to life! Yes! <laughs> A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay, to my shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Whoa! I'm fluctuating wildly. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this. Look at his shadow when I do that. Wow, 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 Anyway, why are you ashamed of that? Bad for morale, sir. There were ah dark times. He means that literally. They were dark times. The power fluctuations. Ah. But I made all manner of baseless complaints against the captain. The manner in which this ship is run, and the plausibility of our sacred mission. But now. I see the error of my ways. And with your help, perhaps I can atone. Power relay coils are a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely, they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seas. Hey, if you need oh. miscellaneous scrap, we probably have it back at base. I might, I might have one now. All is well. I can just fix it. You done did it! Had some oxidization on it and just needed to be cleaned off. Used a wire brush? Yeah. Neat. That's an easy fix, my guy. Power flows far and steady. I would applaud you, but alas, I cannot due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, sir, huzzah. Smash your eyeballs together. Well, you're very welcome. I require no further assistance, but our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttle buddies, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to it. Give me the scuttle buddy. Fare thee well. Fare thee well, bosun. Perhaps we should have established a reason why we're helping the robots out. Didn't ask for payment yet. Ah, uh, what? A, you know, I kind of like them. They got fun accents. That's a good enough reason as any. And like, what else are we gonna do today? A paying job. I wonder who or what they're protecting against. Uh, you just saw it. It was a bunch of scrappers. Can we activate the core guidance system? Nope, we can't. Hey, yo! Ahoy, soldier! Scavenger threat eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. Hey, I mean, you guys did a decent job defending the ship. Proclamation 1. Defend the Constitution by any means necessary. 
That sounded like an actual old cassette tape. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance <laughs> chip stolen. Who stole the guidance chip? Who would want that? Human scavengers assaulted this vessel. Destroyed naval property. Stole chip. Reclaim chip at scavengers forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Ooh. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Ah. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir. Okay, let's go use the ass dinghy. No, aft, aft dinghy. You know what, fine, uh, ass dinghy. We'll use the ass dinghy. Where is the aft of the ship? Is it the ass? Then we're calling it the ass dinghy. The, the ass, whoa. It just went down on its own. Oh, we got a functioning winch, do you? Damn, that's impressive. I guess on the way Wow, there. that's impressive, man. I like to balance stuff, but that's impressive. <laughs> it's stuck in the rubble. Broken lamp. Uh, oh boy, a boxing glove. A legendary boxing glove. Wow, that wait, is gonna stay. Wait, hold on. Is it? Is it just a generic boxing glove? Yeah, it is. Oh wait, twenty-five percent chance to deal fifty direct damage on a successful block. Oh, a successful block. Oh my <laughs> god. Why isn't on a? Why isn't it on a successful strike or on a power attack? Oh, uh, that would be too useful. It's so dumb <laughs> on a successful block. <laughs> Man, these are well-armed scavengers. And well-armored scavengers. Yeah, they are, actually. They got some sturdy armor. Yep. I just can't help but repeat myself. Hello, people that aren't shooting at us, surprisingly. Greetings, I am Galstaff, Sorcerer of Light. Oh, it's these guys. Don't shoot. Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag you anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. So they were scavengers, but not with you, huh? Well, they were kind of with us. I mean, we're not really used to working together. It's not like anyone is in charge. But we do have an agreement. Everyone works together, gets an equal share. Uh -huh. When you waltzed aboard the ship, those assholes just kind of lost it. They broke our agreement and paid for it. How did you get aboard anyway? We thought you were going to get cratered for sure. As long as you don't run at them screaming, they're okay. You could tell by my bad posture and post-traumatic stress disorder that I'm a military veteran, so he let me on board. No, whatever. So, you got to see the inside, huh? All that salvage, the real mother load, just waiting to be stripped and sold. There's... We didn't really see much worth anything. Yeah, there's really not that much valuable in there. Well, yeah, we could keep Diamond City in parts for months with all them gizmos. We'd never have to scrounge in the gutter again. So you talked with a tin can. What'd he have to say? Uh, he says you stole a guidance chip and he wants it back. His guidance chip, right. You know what he needs it for? His rockets. The huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. So he wants to build a rocket. So what? You can't seriously be all right with that. I don't care. Screw that robot and come work with us. There's dozens more of us nearby. It's only a matter of time before we come out on top. I'm not splitting my share with him. You holding out on us, Davies? You got some magical way in there? This guy's got a free ticket aboard, so shut up. Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. Oh, you guys have made a great first impression on us. Yeah, I'll need to think about that. Might I ask we help Captain Ironsides? He's a cut above these people. Don't take he too is. long or we'll crack the Constitution open ourselves. And then you'll get nothing. We've seen you guys try. Excuse me. Pardon me. Hi, how's it going? Um... Well, that really doesn't do anything. <laughs> if you're here for work, you're too late. That's where the guidance chip is. Oh! What's your find? Does that not belong to someone? Nothing! I didn't find anything! I don't know what you're talking about! He was... Thank you for distracting him, Deacon. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go! I didn't take anything! They're gonna realize that uh, something's amiss soon. Whatever, not my problem. We'll be long gone when they do. Yeah, we and will. We'll be on board this ship with the... 
We'll be on board the ship with the rockets and we'll be sailing away. Come this sail away. Come sail away. Come sail away. Wow, look at that. It comes Please back down onto the ship. Right. Drop down the ass thingy for you. Yay, the ass thingy. Hey, everybody. Got good news. Good news, everyone. I got... Ooh. Hostiles in area. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! All right. Anyway. I had excellent service at this Arby's. Put that chip in there. That's really not a guidance chip, more of a guidance card. But navigator, nav, na Mr. Na Mr. Navigator, my bad, navigator. Come, come back, come back. I'm talking to you. Uh, bullets oh, are. We're getting, we're getting shot at. <laughs> That's why of. he doesn't want to talk to us. You guys. Oh, he's like all the way. I know I just cut right in front of him while he was shooting, but whatever. It's it's more because I'm just trying to deal with whatever this problem is. Uh, someone's just trying to have a barbecue out there, possibly. Oh, there he is. I see Do him. Do not be alarmed. That was a really good shot with a 9mm. What All is right. that guy doing? Navigator. Just having a picnic. Ahoy, soldier. Chip recovered. Dispensing bounty. Diagnostics report. One error remaining. Oh, oh yes? Guidance radar's transmitter is non-functional. Requires replacement. Uh-oh, what's wrong with the transmitter? Diagnostic inconclusive. No functioning Mr. Handy's available for detailed analysis. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, sir. Well, if you don't know what's wrong with it, maybe we could fix it. Yeah, maybe I can, I can take a look at it. Rewire it, poke it a bit. Okay, I can repair some stuff, but this is beyond my skill. I actually need replacement parts. Yeah, it's proprietary. Yeah. It says repair or replace, so... I can't repair it. Ah, uh, must not have high enough skill or something. No, I, I would need a lot more skill to be able to replace that. And I don't have my tools on me. I have my lockpicks, but not my tools. I see. Yeah. Oh, we got some bugs in the what way. What the fuck are these things? Slithering is what they are. I don't like it. They got leech faces. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Made that look easy. My primary purpose is not combat. Oh, and we're getting attacked by a triceratops. The what dangerous the fuck? combat is quite <laughs> vigorous exercise. A fiendish hellcat. Straight from the depths of Dante's Inferno. I'm definitely not from Dante. Uh, oh, he was trying to decide what wig to wear. Hey, get out of here. This is our Poseidon building. We need it. I forget what we're doing here. Oh, uh, we're getting the power coil. Whoa! Yeah, you hit him, Deacon. Good job. And also. God. But. Okay, back in the build. Hey, welcome back, buddy. <laughs> Why are you cowering in fear, Deacon? <laughs> He's afraid of what he did to you. Well, here, let's just. Deacon, you're having some issues. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson, they got shit on Deacon. Look at this. That's Holy a, fuck. That's a goddamn 85 degree angle right there. Good lord. <laughs> this is impressive. What you need? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. What's up? How's it going? What's up with you? How, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> what is it? Can you sit still? Anything for you, pal. <laughs> a little antsy. Uh, Deacon, go over here. On it. Deacon, go deal with that enemy over there. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a little jaunt. Go, Where Deacon, go. Wonder? Okay. Deacon. <laughs> Deacon, Deacon, How go would I there. even get there? <laughs> I don't know. How did you get here? How did you get here, Deacon? Can't reach that boss. <laughs> Kiri, Kiri, come here. I need to talk to you. Do you need something from me? I will wait. <laughs> it is safe here, yes? Oh, she's up the, on the ridge. Oh, this building's got ghouls in it again. Don't oh, mean no. To make you nervous, well, but I don't think we're alone. More ghouls. Clear them all out. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, we found the Poseidon radar transmitter. And it's trouble seriously resin synth right leg. Is it good? I don't know. Uh, minus 15 from robots, damage resistance, energy resistance. Seems pretty paltry. I've dropped it. The ghostly weapons workbench that only appears once a month. Oh shit, I was Insert out of ammo. Insert something Shakespearean involving death and your inevitable doom here. Those robots are going to be so happy we got the thing they wanted. Yeah, I would be happy. Maintaining present course. I... 
you really have no option but to maintain present course, Mr. Navigator. It looks quite defensible. Yay, it's fixed! Ahoy, soldier! Guidance system fully functioning. Bounty dispensed. It is required. You commence dialogue with the captain, sir. Yeah, that's right. The Navy has to go to the Army for more help. You've been of service to our noble vessel. I am pleased you recovered the guidance chip without bloodshed. Though the scavengers have caused us grievous injury, our goals must be nobler than base revenge. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. Hairs don't... Oh, you're talking about rabbits. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Sure, I'll help. I would expect nothing less. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed. Woo, I can do that. And those bearings why are... You, why didn't you tell me I was, I was just over there? <laughs> I, was just, I was just over there. Well, let's go several miles away. All right, turbo pump bearings. Turbo prop bearings. Turkey pump bearings. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Uh, I don't think there's any more enemies in here. Nah, this place is near cleared out. Cool. And there's hey, the turkey pump bearings. The turkey pump bearings. That looks more like a... That's not even a turbo pump bearing. That's a flux sensor. You said you wanted a turbo pump bearing, so I got you this flux sensor. <laughs> uh, that's not what I asked for. I don't care. <laughs> it was so simple. Are we going to get ambushed on our way out the building? So I'm going to say, hey, what are you doing, hey, what are you doing with that, turp that turkey pump bearing? Okay. okay, no. That guy's what else could we do? Since we had the big talk, well, what? it's been easier looking in the mirror. Are you talking to me? Oh, that? That's the USS Constitution. I hear it's parked <laughs> up there for tax purposes. Thank you for telling me about it now that we've already done a bunch of stuff for it, Deacon. Oh, you're fun. Warning. Overdue for maintenance. Oh, wait. No, I this talk task of many years hinges upon those turbo pump bearings. Right in back there, here. Yeah. In the captain's quarters. Check it out. We're in the captain's quarters. Yeah, we're not doing it. Why is there an ice cooler <laughs> next to the... Whatever. Mm, maybe these... I'm not sure why there's an ice cooler next to the rocket engine, but maybe that's fine. Maybe these robots are a bit more evil than they let on. I don't know about that. Ooh, urban camouflage. Okay. Here's how you make yourself look like a brick. Step one, think like a brick. <laughs> Done. The boat, it is on the building. That is the USS Constitution. Mon Dieu. In oh, and Dick, you. Deacon's hands are missing again. Turn the power on the starboard bow. Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Luck willing, at long last we'll set sail. And our hero of the hour is to thank. You've earned a double share, sir. Well done. You're welcome. Uh, wait, uh, set, what do you mean set sail? On the eve of our voyage, the need for secrecy is long past. Our twin NX-42 rockets will alight and then moor us from this dreaded savings and loan. The Constitution will launch into the heavens and after, gently land in the ocean. Then we take our rightful place as defenders of the Atlantic. I mean, you are missing a big chunk of the side of the hole. You know what? Also, won't that short out the rocket engines? Oh, well, once they get into the ocean, they don't really care. I, that is quite ambitious. As they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Mr. Navigator, put her through her paces. We need to... Oh, Those marvelous colors. Prepare the field is ours. Oh, boy. Until the next time. Oh, we're being shot at. This will launch counterfire. Well struck. <laughs> well struck. Someone just ow, 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 God! One or two people took a pot shot at you when you fired an entire barrage down there. Can I fire another one? No, you need to reload the cannons manually, remember? Oh, <laughs> Scavengers are another loyal sailor. Needs fire into the fog! Who knows what's going on? Not me! I can't see! I can't tell where anybody yeah. is. Ah. Hopefully my green bullets home in on things. Oh, what? What? What is happening? Dear God. <laughs> ah! I think the robots were unha unhappy with you. Why? I didn't even do anything to them! <laughs> oh my god, look how far away I am! <laughs> now we can see what we're shooting at! Yay, yeah, the fog has dissipated! Remember to duck if the missile's headed toward your face! 
Get them, get them before they sail away. They're gonna take They're the They're gonna losing. leave with all of our tasty salvage. Uh, then what yeah. am I gonna eat? Challengers are attempting to pull. Blast them back Target to which they came. Yeah, but as long as you don't wrap down the ass boat for them, they're probably not gonna get on. I wonder if I should go down there. And talk to them? No, I feel like it would be easier to shoot at them from down there, though. We got a nice vantage point up here. I feel like, oh man, see, this is one of the few times that I wish I had a scope weapon. Engaging. Rag everything that moves, but for God's sake. I will defend this vessel in the world. She, like, all of her cronies were like, I'm out, I'm fucking done. They all left, and she's like, quick, we gotta board and take everything on there. Gods be good, the scavenger assault has been broken. Not one of those scallywags stepped foot on our vessel. All hands, prepare ship for launch. You're gonna ignite a 200-year-old rocket. I, I feel like this is an ill-conceived idea. Only if I fail, sir. We need power from the auxiliary generator to commence our voyage. I fear I must call upon you one last time. Consider it done. I admire your pluck. Here is your amply deserved reward. Godspeed to you, sir. Godspeed to you, sir. Good lord, that's an actual cannon. It's an actual cannon, Mike. It's a flintlock fired cannon. Uh, and it fires actual cannons? Yes, it does. Oh yeah, we'll just carry around 30 cannonballs everywhere. It's fine. Your arm is gonna get so tired. G oh, gonna get tired. My friend, it's already tired. Just gotta take 40 pounds of lead. Mr. Navigator, slowly throttle the engines. Keep idling those engines. All right, guys, you ready? Wait, why are we flipping a- Boy, soldier, we're ready for our auxiliary power. Why are we flipping a switch here? Why? Because this is where the auxiliary generator is. Why is the auxiliary generator to the ship over on this building? I think the, the auxiliary generator weighs too much, otherwise the rocket won't be able to take off. We cannot proceed until we have auxiliary power. Flip the switch. The Atlantic waits. Uh. Let's go! Power nominal? Excellent. Let me close that. Mr. Navigator, light the engines. Dreaded savings and loan. We shall be more no longer. We are away. Oh my god, oh my god, it's working! Oh my god! Oh yeah. Two points to stop. Wait. There Wait. Is, uh, oh sh oh shit. Oh shit! You, you missed the pier! The pier is down there! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh my god! They're doing it! Just Holy break. crap! You're 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 really yes. overshooting the oh yes. shit. You're, are you flying directly into that building? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we did it. Victory at last. V Victory? New reports we are a quarter fathom closer to the Atlantic. By my calculations, in a mere century, we will take to the ocean. Well done. You. You could have landed in this. Alright. You could have landed right there. We got paid, that's all that matters. Yep, that's, uh, that's... That's beached. Some might say what we just did was ultimately pointless, but I want to point out that we did that right in front of the Pridwind, so we probably confused the fuck out of the Brotherhood. Oh, God, yeah. They're just like, uh, uh, uh there's a, there's a boat, and it's flying. I, I know, we're on board, and it's called the Pridwind. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Elder Maxim is just like having his morning bowl of cereal, just looks out the window. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me, what building are they? They're on the, okay, we gotta get in this building. Okay, we're, we're gonna go check on them, see if they need anything else. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're here, soldier. I've lost most of my crew during the launch. Well, it wasn't really the launch that did them in, it was the crash. <laughs> How convenient that the elevator still works. 45th floor, USS Constitution. <laughs> yes, indeed it was. Good grief. We're here. We're back, everybody. How we doing? Oh, man. Those are pieces of building stuck on top of it. <laughs> uh, hello, Captain. Ca Captain, how you doing? Our hero returns. What a glorious success. True, the mission is not quite complete, but one cannot deny our progress. Yeah, you've made you've made progress. What were you down there before? I mean, that's a lot of progress. 
What are we shoot? Wait, what are we shooting at? There's Let's nothing to shoot at up here. Engaging I saw a fly, or maybe it was a small bird. Take that, random car. Today sounds like a lovely day to declare war on. <laughs> Yeah, they're real far away, though. I don't know if that was me or... <laughs> well, All right, well, if, if nothing else, we, uh, we're, at a, we're at a very high point in the area. Yeah. I got a literal cannon today. I once saw a death claw that was like 30 feet tall. Seriously, it was a glowing 40 foot tall death claw. And it talked. We used the Haber Swear process to, to extract the ammonia and then oxidize it to nitric acid with the Ostwald process. What? It's all pretty academic if you think about it. A light barrel? Standard <laughs> a light barrel. So now hold three shots. Oh! And then you're gonna take. Somehow putting one in there reloads all three of them. It's oh. magic. No, look, it's gonna, magic. Don't think yep, about it. Not gonna question it. Okay. I know we're we're on a hundred episodes now. Uh huh. I, I don't even know how many hours of this we've played. You you seem to have an issue. What's up? But it really annoys me that when I rotate the bot, the, one this is not how you pick a lock. Obviously, really? I've brought this up before. <laughs> Two, when I if I were to stick a bobby pin in a lock and gently turn it like this, it wouldn't sound like I was fishing around in a bag of nails. <laughs> Just bringing that one up. 